Peace Corps sends volunteers into host communities to build the bridges of understanding that will foster friendship, that will foster peace, and build the kind of future that we all strive for. While times have changed, the agency's mission to promote world peace and friendship has not. The three goals of the Peace Corps are as relevant today as they were in 1961. Goal one, to help people of interested countries in meeting their need for trained men and women. Goal two, to help promote a better understanding of Americans on the part of the peoples served. And of course, our third goal, to help promote a better understanding of other peoples on the part of Americans. Talking about my Peace Corps experience is such a satisfying thing to do. It's memories, you know, they were instructive stories, you know, they were things that kind of taught you something about other people or taught you something about the life you want to live. So telling them almost in that oral tradition, I think, is an important thing. And there's not too many people who've gone somewhere that they didn't know, lived in another country, spoke a new language, and were exposed to a culture that sometimes could be 2,000 years old. And it just doesn't really happen every day. And when you tell that to somebody, it does open up their eyes, and yes, it really helps them understand that it really is less about us and them, and it's more about we. I think that's what bringing the world back home really embodies. The biggest impact probably occurs initially when the volunteers are sending information back to their home country, sending it to family, sending it to friends, sending it to uh, church groups. And so there's a lot of interest while you're physically in the country as a volunteer, and then that communication ends up uh, getting spread pretty quickly. With email, we were able to share our experiences with people at home and people actually copied what we wrote and took it to work to share, especially in communities where people were working with immigrant populations and they said that our input helped them be more culturally sensitive at their work. So that felt like a nice accomplishment too. When I was in Mali, I made sure that I attended a lot of cultural events and uh, the best thing I've ever gotten as a gift for my parents was a video camera. We're in a town called Kunjiala, filming. Uh... If you have a video camera, I think the memories you capture in that camera are going to be a lifetime experience. And so that's pretty much how I have shared my third goal coming back. Once a volunteer returns home, there are a variety of third goal activities they can do to continue to build a cultural bridge between their American and host country communities. They can share an activity with the media by writing a letter to the editor, contacting a newspaper, or approaching a local radio or TV station. They can post videos about their experience online. They can mention Peace Corps on Facebook and Twitter. They can make presentations at schools, libraries, civic organizations, and at their workplaces. Blogging is also a great way to get stories across. I think blogging gives the world an opportunity to know what a particular village or assignment or volunteer are doing overseas. They'll be able to translate what they're reading into the newspaper into a personal story of an individual who's living on the ground. Within the university is a really great place to bring the experience back to. And there's good response from students and professors and they're really interested in, in the academic aspects and the Peace Corps aspects of my experience. The tips I would give other RPCVs once they are back from service is to be open and be willing to share the experience with a diverse pool of people, not just a group of individuals that already know your experience. Firefighters, they have not known about Peace Corps a lot. So when I meet them and we talk to them, they are fascinated about the culture, the language, the food, the people, my experience, Peace Corps, what we are about, what we do, and how it impacts each other. I believe that the third goal is so much more than just giving a presentation 
and sharing information about your host country. The third goal is an opportunity for us to break down stereotypes about other cultures and other people. And so it helps Americans not only be tolerant, but be inviting and appreciative of other people and cultures. There is a vast network of returned Peace Corps groups around the United States, categorized by country of service and geographic area. Many of these return volunteer groups can be found on the National Peace Corps Association's website, and many have a speakers bureau eager for new participants. The National Peace Corps Association is kind of a, a platform, a venue, a, a framework whereby those who value Peace Corps can continue their service. Something that Sergeant Shriver and Harris Wofford, uh, some of the pioneers of Peace Corps, always talked about was Peace Corps was not a two-year commitment. It was really a, a lifetime obligation to service. Return Peace Corps volunteers are a valuable resource to students, teachers, youth groups, and community organizations who want to learn more about other countries. Return volunteers can join Speakers Match, a program through Peace Corps' Worldwide Schools. The third goal of Peace Corps has been really important to me. So I approached our French teacher at the high school and said I'd be happy to come in and do something about Senegal since it is a Francophone country, but it might not necessarily be something that the kids are familiar with. So I was able to compare and contrast for them what their school was like with all these wonderful computers and things on the wall and all kinds of stuff to help enhance their education experience compared to what my village had, which was kids having a little black slate and chalk for doing math problems. So their living environments are different, their, their religion, their culture might be different, but on some very core values, they're the same, and our kids are discovering that. The third goal allows us to focus on the peace in Peace Corps, because it allows us to create a bridge that bridges the cultural gap between our different cultures around the world. And now we see we've got almost 200,000 return Peace Corps volunteers here in the United States, and they're leaders in every segment of our society, in public health, in government, both local, state, and federal government. They're leaders in diplomacy. They're leaders in the field of international development, in education, both in primary, secondary education, and higher education. They're business leaders. So now they have a chance to bring back that rich experience and support the third goal in, in the United States. Peace Corps' website makes it easy for the Peace Corps community to learn about the opportunities that support and promote the agency's third goal. There's information on how to participate in Peace Corps Week, an annual series of events that honors Peace Corps' March 1st anniversary. Current and return volunteers can sign up for Correspondence Match and Speakers Match, or submit photos and stories to Peace Corps' digital library. Helpful, downloadable resources are also available. Tools ranging from tips from fellow return volunteers to creative presentation ideas. Please share your third goal experiences and register your activities with Peace Corps headquarters online. It's really important for return volunteers to register their third goal activity with the Peace Corps. It's a great way for the agency to say, look, these are our return Peace Corps volunteers, these are how many people in the Peace Corps community that continue to bring the world home to America. For more information on how to get involved in the third goal, visit www.peacecorps.gov slash third goal.